Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of my brand new Gucci Gigi Marmont Matalise bag in the small version. And before I get into this video, I want to cover all my bases and explain to you guys why I ended up selling my Matalise in the mini version. So the bag that I'm about to unbox is in the size small. And back in December on my birthday, I went to the Gucci store in Nordstrom and purchased the Matalise in the mini size. And that was my first ever designer handbag purchase and it was a huge deal and I love 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 that bag it was a beautiful bag the perfect color the perfect style I loved that bag but the only thing that I wasn't 100% happy with was the size and I didn't realize that until about a week in carrying that bag that it was a little bit too small for my everyday needs and so I ended up selling it for basically the exact same price that I bought it and then I went ahead and purchased the next size up and I didn't want to get the new bag and pretend that that none of that happened and just kind of brush it under the rug because I realized that that's a really big deal that I bought a designer handbag wasn't happy with it and then sold it a couple weeks later I realized how much of a privilege and just how crazy it is that I'm able to one purchase that bag in the first place but two switch it out to get the next size up so I didn't want you guys to think that I was taking this lightheartedly or that I was just being all crazy with my money. I ended up only wearing that bag for a few days and then stuffing it with tissue paper, putting it back in the dust bag and putting it on a shelf while I decided if I wanted to try to return it or exchange it for the next size up. The only thing is that I cut off the return tag for Nordstrom and Nordstrom refused to let me return or exchange that bag even though I had only worn it for like two days. I went in, talked to the manager, talked to the department manager and everybody said no. I had a lot of you guys on Instagram saying you should just like try to return it or go to a different different Nordstrom store or do it online and it was just not gonna happen because Nordstrom created this new policy that they would just not take anything back designer that had a certain tag taken off so because I took the tag off I could not return it I could not exchange it and that left me with trying to figure out what to do with this brand new handbag that really lost no value because I had only worn it for like two days but I was really patient with the bag I kept it in my closet for about three weeks and I finally found the right buyer who basically bought it for exactly what I paid for it so I really didn't lose any money on the bag which was the most important thing it went to a good home and again I love the bag I love the style I love the design of it it just was too small and so that is why I went ahead and purchased the larger one but again I didn't want all of this to be really shady or like kind of sneak it into videos as if nothing had happened because I feel like you guys needed to know that the bag that I got on my birthday in that vlog isn't the bag that I'm gonna be carrying from now on even though it may look the exact same it is the next size up it's the size small so yeah that's basically everything that has happened within the last month it's taken a month to sell that bag and repurchase it and now I finally get to do an unboxing of my new bag that I ordered from Gucci online so this one's not from Nordstrom and they packaged it I get the gift wrapping which is awesome so I'm really excited to unbox this and actually show you guys kind how Gucci packages it and sends it to you. So this is the box that the bag comes in. They ship through FedEx. You have to be there to sign for it. That was a big deal. I was out of town, but luckily they tried again and I was home. I signed for it this morning and it comes in this huge cardboard box. So they're very good about packaging it up. And on the inside of the cardboard box, it says Gucci. And then this is the gift wrapping. And then it comes with a bunch of this protective wrapping on the side, keeping everything in place as it ships. The first thing in the box is a little envelope that says Gucci on it. And I think this is just the receipt. It says, thank you for shopping with us at Gucci.com. We hope you enjoy your Gucci purchase. So a little thank you card from them. It comes with their return policy and also a return shipping label. Hopefully I will not have to return this one. Hopefully this one is perfect. And now on to the main event. So I'm really excited about this because when I bought my Gucci bag in the Nordstrom store, I didn't get the box. They were out of boxes, I guess, or maybe they don't give you boxes with that style of bag. I don't really know what it is, but I really wanted the Gucci box and Nordstrom said that I couldn't have one. So I thought that was kind of weird. I got a Nordstrom box. So it wasn't quite as exciting. I mean, still exciting, but it is fun to open up the Gucci packaging. So this is what the box looks like. Really pretty. It has a little ribbon on it. and opening it up it has tissue paper that says gucci on it obviously everything is branded beautifully <laughs> 
inside the box besides the tissue paper is the actual bag and it comes in the same dust bag that my last bag came in. It says Gucci on the front and this dust bag and box are going to be perfect for storing the bag because it's such a soft leather bag. You have to stuff it and take care of it really nicely which I would do anyway because it's a very expensive bag and it's important to take care of things like that. Opening up the dust bag. I'm so excited. It's so good to have one of these back. It's so beautiful. This is the exact same style as my last bag, but it is a little bit bigger. I can already tell that this is the perfect size for my everyday. Again, it has the double G and then the closure is a clasp underneath which opens up the bag and it is stuffed, which is really nice. Inside of the bag is like a micro suede, I believe. I don't really know the correct term, but it's really, really soft. I'll be sure to link the bag. So if you need to check out like actual information and dimensions, you can have correct numbers and stuff like that. So I'll link it down below in the description box. It's pretty spacious. Again, it's already bigger than my last one, which I am so excited about. This one also has a zipper pocket in the back, which I am really happy about because because the mini size only had just a little pocket. It didn't zip up, so you couldn't really put anything in there that you didn't want to fly out, or things like tampons, or anything like private that you want to be zipped into your bag. This one does have the zipper, so I am really, really happy about that. This is about how wide the bag is. The back of it has the heart. I really like the heart. Some people don't like it. I personally love it. I think it makes it fun. And then the strap is the antique gold, and then it has the leather on the back so it makes it easy to carry on your shoulder and it like doesn't dig into your shoulder so this is what the bag looks like and then you can drop the strap down and wear it as a crossbody again the leather is really really soft so as you can see it's pretty flexible so when you're not using it it needs to be stuffed but I'm gonna be using this a lot I honestly think this is the perfect size for an everyday the mini was a great size if you wanted it to be easily converted into an evening bag because it was small Smaller, it could be a really cute almost like clutch size but for everyday use which I'm gonna be using this little baby for I wanted to get the bigger size so this size is perfect and I am really really happy that I went through all of that exchanging and returning and selling to be able to size up because this size is perfect and it's exactly what I wanted. Nordstrom didn't have this bag. A lot of places have been sold out in the small size so that's why I got the mini one but I'm really glad that I just ordered this one from Gucci online and got them to ship it to me. So this is the bag and it's beautiful and I can go ahead and try it on so that you guys can see how long it is on me. So this is what the bag looks like on my shoulder. I am 5'2" so I'm relatively short, so you can get an idea of where it hits on my body being five foot two. And then this is the length of it crossbody, just so you can see where it hits. And then just on the shoulder as well. But I love the size of this bag. I feel like this is the perfect size for my frame. I think this is a great size. It doesn't overwhelm my figure. So while I was editing this video last night, I realized that I forgot to film any sort of an outro. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me unbox my new Gucci bag. If you like this video though, please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you back for some more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!